Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. We are back at it, ready to have some fun. Oh, man. Um, cool episode, actually, because I do get this question a lot. So people reach out, you know, quite often, actually. I think it's, oh, gosh, it's almost like on a weekly basis through either Instagram or uh, my patrons will reach out like via private message um, or even just subscribers will email me and reach out mm -hmm. and so forth. So I get this question often, like, Judge, what bottles are you currently sipping and you just can't put down, right? So I get this question a lot. And obviously throughout the year, the bottles do change, but these, I'm going to give you five bottles that I'm currently sipping that I flat out right, right, right now, at least they are just like, they're my jam. I mean, I love them. <laughs> I can't put them down and I tend to keep going back and forth with them, um, you know, on a daily basis. So I'm going to give you my five, but before we do so, I want to give a huge shout out to my newest patron, uh, my good friend, Derek Hawkins. So Derek, thanks again, man, for becoming a patron, supporting the bourbon judge. As well as I should say thank you for all my patrons, all the ladies, all the men. Uh, we have such a great group of people, so I really do appreciate all of, you, all of you guys. And thanks for all the love and support, as well as everyone who watches the channel uh, on a weekly basis as well. Thank you all. Much appreciation. Um, <clears throat> speaking of patrons, we are actually down to, we have our newest barrel pick coming out later this week. It should be up later this week. Um, but our last barrel pick, uh, the Starlight Bourbon Finish in uh, Old Honey Barrels, uh, X Honey Barrels, we're down to less than 10 bottles, literally less than 10. So uh, if you're interested in becoming a patron, go ahead and uh, check us out, and uh, or check me out rather, over on Patreon, and um, get access to that, plus the future barrel picks we have coming up as well. All right, so I'm going to give you these five bottles that I'm telling you, they are like right now that every time i'm like i go to my cabinet right and you know we all have our different you know cabinets and whiskey that we're into and so forth but these are five that just really hit home for me so i'm gonna tell you the reason why and um just why i like to sip it and enjoy it kind of go from there cool all right so the first bottle oh man the first bottle now this is a a tough one this is a bottle this is actually my second bottle of it so that shows how much i really enjoy this whiskey um I just think that what they're putting out is just top-notch whiskey. It's at the right, right price point, great quality. And my first one is actually a rye. So from the first one, this is actually what I'm sipping as well. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out, I can't put this bottle down. It's now my second bottle of it. This is the Barstown Bourbon Company, the Origin Series, the rye. Oh man, this one comes in at 96 proof. So especially while it's hot out this summer, it's hot out, it's warm out. I find myself gravitating toward this, honestly, a, a lot. I really do. Hence the reason why it's my second bottle of it now. I think it's a fantastic bottle. Um, the price point, not bad. About high 60s, low 70s, kind of depending where you get it from. But great quality whiskey. And I love the fact that now Barstown has like truly 100% in, in the Origin Series, their own distillate. So that by itself, I'm a big fan of. And I just love the quality of whiskey. And for a rye, rye whiskey, whew, I can't put it down. I just can't put it down in fact cheers to bar sound bourbon company the origin series mm. oh man that's such a lovely ride on so many levels it hits home it's nice 96 proof it's sweet but it's peppery at the same time that is such a fantastic bottle i'm actually gonna pour a little bit more <laughs> see i truly can't put it down <laughs> literally all right Coming in the number two spot. All right, so the number two one. So this is a distillery out in, out, I should say, or in the great state of Ohio. Uh, a lot of my patrons live in Ohio, so we always talk about this distillery a lot. And um, let's just say, I think I've had several of their products now, and I'm a fan of, I think, almost everything that they've put out so far. So I'm a huge fan of this distillery. I'm actually looking to try to do a barrel pick with them as well in the upcoming future as well. But this is a uh, Middle West Spirits, the straight rye whiskey. This is their dark pumpernickel rye whiskey. Um, this one here coming in at exactly also 96 proof. What I like about this dark pump, uh, dark pumpernickel rye is the fact that it's not just it's not just sweet, but it's peppery. Um, it has a great like just creamy kind of like a mouthfeel, if you will. And for both of these two, I mean, wow, I'm the bourbon judge, but my first two picks are rye. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty damn funny, actually. Um, but honestly, I mean, this whiskey is just, in my opinion, it is great quality whiskey. And this bottle, oh my gosh, from Middle West Spirits, I think it's only like maybe, it's either anywhere from like $35 to $45, depending on which store you get it from and so forth. Um, but very great quality. 
also affordable, less than 50 bucks, right? And it's one also kind of like the bar sound. I just find myself kind of gravitating toward it because of the quality of the whiskey. And I love the fact that this is a craft distillery. I am a huge fan um, of craft distilleries and I love just what craft distilleries are, are, are putting out this day and age. So shout out to Middle West Spirits because that my friends is ridiculously good. All right, that's the number two spot. Come in number three spot, all right. I guess I need to go over to a bourbon. I am the bourbon judge. I need to go. I do need to go over to a bourbon, right? <laughs> so the number three. Now this is a whiskey coming from a brand that I am just a major fan of. This brand, um, their whiskey was my number one whiskey of last year. It might end up being my number one whiskey of 2023. Might I'm not not saying definite as of yet, right? The year is still young. Um, but I love this brand, and when I think of this next uh, whiskey, this next bourbon, I like it for the fact that not only can I sip it neat, it is probably, I would say, one of the best whiskeys that you can pair with a cigar. So I'm going to go ahead and give a little bit of love to my good friends over at Lucky 7. This is Lucky 7, the Frenchman, so they're taking bourbon whiskey and then finish it, finishing it rather uh, in the secondary cast, which is the uh, French Oak Barrels. This one coming in at 113 proof. Folks, if you have not tried the Frenchman, you are doing yourself a disservice. So I I beg you, I plead, please make sure you try a pour of this. Even if you want to grab a full bottle, at least go to a bar, a local you know bourbon bar that has a really good selection. Try this Frenchman. Odds are you will not be disappointed. Um, this is honestly, I think, one of the best overall bottles on the market when you think of the fact that you can sip it neat, you can sip it if you wanted to, which I personally don't, but you can sip it on the rocks. I do have some friends actually that do sip this on the rocks and they enjoy it on the rocks as well. And for me, when I sip it neat, I also, a lot of times I even pair it with a cigar. And I'm telling you folks, this is one of the best whiskeys on the market. I love, love, and I mean love Lucky 7 uh, whiskey. So the Frenchman, number three. All right, real quick, before I get to the last two, and today, by the way, no asterisks, no asterisk today, just keep it into the five. Um, Three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are five whiskeys right now that you personally can't put down and the reason why also. And last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right. Here we go. What is number four and number five? Oh, man. Mm. Coming in the number four spot. Number five is going to surprise you. Number five is going to surprise you. I can't wait for that one. Come in the number four spot. This is very interesting that the first time I'm doing a list and the majority of the whiskeys in my list are not bourbons. Obviously, I am on a rye kick. But this Sagamore Spirit eight-year-old rye whiskey, oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Sagamore as a brand is putting out some of the best rye whiskey on the market. Great for when you look at it from a uh, from a value perspective. I think this is about this bottle is like maybe 75 80 bucks, right? It's fantastic quality with an 8 year age statement coming in at exactly what is this one here? This is batch 2A. So this one's coming in at exactly 111.4 proof, so it kicks it up a little bit. I love the intensity of it. I love the fruit that fruit notes that are in there, but it's also still a traditional kind of rye in many ways where it's spicy and peppery, but it's very fruit forward at the same time also. It is truly, I think, one of the best rye whiskeys on the market, especially when you look at the dollar that you're paying for, like how much versus like what you're getting, an eight year age stated uh, rye whiskey. Sagamore, whew, that is just flat out amazing. Oh man, amazing. All right, so what did the judge pick as number five? And by the way, these are not in order in terms of like, you know, I like, you know, for example, the bar sound number one and so forth. These are just the five that I'm currently grabbing this day and age. But what's coming in the number five spot? So the number five spot, this is a bourbon, or yeah, probably blended whiskey technically, but a bourbon. And it is one where, let's just say, the previous releases, I've always enjoyed them. I always thought they were good. I, I did, honestly. The last few releases, I thought they were excellent. There is something about this release that 
in my opinion, and just my opinion only, I think is the best release that they put out for their standard core products. You can find it on shelves for $85, and I think it is the best whiskey that they've put out in terms of quality, price point, and availability. My number five is, you might be shocked, this is Barrel Bourbon Batch 35. Barrel Bourbon Batch 35 is on another level, folks. I'm telling you. I've liked the other batches, right? Batch 32 and 3 and 4. They were always good. They were good. This, to me, it deserves this award that they won at the uh, San Francisco uh, World Spirits Competition, the Gold Award. It deserves it. I'm telling you, the Barrel team blended their butts off when they blended this whiskey and created Batch 35. It's going to be hard to come up with Batch 36 because this is just flat out amazing. It is by far my favorite barrel product I've ever had. I think, I mean, it's different than seagrass. I can't even compare it to seagrass because that's so different as rye and all the different finishes and so forth. But from like a, a true blended, like almost like a bourbon whiskey, if you will, this is flat out honestly amazing. The best batch of barrel I've personally had flat out forever. And I mean forever, truly. All right, my friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Take care. See you guys.